Mamas, Katie here from Crazy Fit Mama. Thanks for joining us for another edition of our five minute power plays. We're doing one five minute high intensity interval exercise workout every day for the month of October. Um, but even if you're catching these videos not in October, you haven't kept up with us so far, that's okay. Just know that you're gonna have a resource of 31 five minute workouts that you can incorporate into your uh, existing routine or you can use these if you don't have any other time in your day to work out to get a five minute boost in your metabolism, in your energy, and in your calorie burn. So today we're going to do four exercises for 60 seconds apiece. I'm going to begin the timer uh, and we'll have 15 seconds so that I can introduce the first exercise. All right, so the first exercise is really simple. It's something we've been doing since elementary school. They're jumping jacks, but you've got options with jumping jacks. So maybe you have bad knees. Maybe you want to kick it up a notch, all right? So here's our basic jumping jack. Hands are going over our shoulders or over our heads. Our feet are coming out and in, out and in, out and in. If you need to, you can step out and step in if you aren't able to jump or Maybe you have shoulder issues. You can only get this high. Or you can punch across. Just get those arms moving one way or another. Or you can do a star jack if you want to ramp up the intensity level. So you've got plenty of choices when it comes to jumping jacks. Options for everybody. We're doing great. We've got about 15 seconds left in this exercise. Soft knees here, soft landings. Excellent job. All right, we're gonna come down to the ground. We're gonna do a plank with a knee crunch. So in our plank, hands are below the shoulders or elbows below the shoulders. Knees can be down if you'd like. And we're gonna crunch and crunch, all right? My shoulders are staying square to the ground. My hips are staying mostly square to the ground. I don't want you to do all sorts of twisty acrobatic things. We want to take care of our spine. Keep the belly button drawn in. Keep the core tight. You can drive your knees straight underneath your chest if the side knees don't work for you. You can do these from your knees as well. If you're on your knees for your plank, you can come just like this. Keep the butt low. We don't want to come up here. <laughs> so choose your intensity level. Choose what works for you. If your shoulders are getting real sore, come down to your elbows. Great work. Okay, next we're gonna do a toe touch. So we're gonna alternate here. You're on your back, your legs are straight out. If you have lower back issues, you can bend your knees. All right, we're gonna bring our left arm and our right leg and touch. Right arm, left leg and touch. Alternating, alternating. If you need to bend your knees, you can do this. Get that shoulder up off the ground now. You can bring it up here. See what I did there? Take a little break if you need it. Get warm. You can change your level in the middle of the exercise. Great work. Okay, last exercise is hip raise. So we're going to stay on the ground this time. Our feet are going to be just a few inches out from our butt. Hands are going to be by our side. Palms are up. And we're going to drive the hips up to the ceiling. Drive them up to the ceiling. Keep your knees in line with your hips and your toes. Don't let them fall out or in. 
The reason that our hands don't go down is because you have a tendency to push with your arms when your palms are facing down. You can raise a leg here. And switch. Really drive those hips to the ceiling. Get your glutes involved. And switch. And switch. You can keep both feet on the ground if you need to. Focus on the hips going skyward. There we go. You did it. Five minutes. Woo. Come up slow. Five minutes, high intensity, working hard, making it happen, taking care of our bodies. My name is Katie. I'm with CrazyFitMama.com. Please make sure to subscribe down below so you can catch all of our videos. If you have any questions or uh, are stumped on something with regards to your fitness journey uh, or your exercise or even your lifestyle, um, trying to figure out ways to make, uh, make fitness a part of your life, comment below. I'll be glad to answer those for you. Or you can send me an email, katie at crazyfitmama.com, or find me on any of the social media. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.